Well, viewers, I think it's time for a weekend getaway. Let's hit the road. Okay, it's the uh, 23rd of February, uh, 2024. It's around about 2, 2 p.m. And uh, we're on our way up to the Murray River, up towards Ichuka. As you can see, every typical Friday in Melbourne, around this time, just heaps of traffic around. Have to be a little bit on the cautious side at the moment. A lot of too many cars around for my liking, and especially for the missus who's just behind me, just there. Yeah, this is why I enjoy going out to the country to get away from all this traffic. It's absolutely mayhem. I'm hoping that um, there's not too many people trying to escape the weekend with caravans and whatnot. But yeah, what an absolute joke. Okay, finally got away from all that traffic. We are now in the Yarra Valley, heading out towards Yarra Glen. And uh, it's good to be out on the country roads, that's for sure. Yeah, spectacular, you got to love the old uh, Yarra Valley. It's absolutely gorgeous. A bit on the overcast day today. Um, the weather forecast for today was actually uh, 21 degrees with possible showers. Um, considering yesterday we had 38 degrees and extreme heat, it's absolutely crazy. But that's what Melbourne's like in um, the summertime. It can be uh, stinking hot one day and uh, pretty cold the next. But the weather forecast for the next two days up near Echuca is around about 28 degrees, so it's perfect. So, um, Echuca is a township on the Murray, um, it's quite a historical town, it's approximately, I think it's about 290, or so probably about 250 k's from Melbourne, it's about a three hours ride. Okay, welcome to Yay. Um, we're just going to have a quick pit stop here. See how the missus is going with her riding. And uh, yeah, next destination is uh, Seymour, which is only probably half an hour's ride. Uh, the sun's starting to break through too, which is really good. It's been a bit of a cool day considering we had like, you know, close to 40 degrees yesterday, so. Yeah, I'm really feeling it today, like 20 degrees means nothing. How are you going? You stay there, just move back a little bit. Just stay there, yeah, that's good. How are you going? Good. Yeah, enjoying it? Your lights are on. You can... <laughs> yeah, we'll just check to see, make sure the bags are pretty secure as well. They look like they've come loose. No, that strap there is a little bit loose. Yeah, that's the thing is with these straps, you know, they do loosen up. I mean, these are very high revving bikes, so they will loosen the straps up, I guarantee you. Yeah, that's not too bad. But yeah. Yep, they're all okay. Okay, let's have a bit of a break here up. Okay, that was just a quick pit stop. Um, next stop we're going to do is Murchison. And then from there, it's not too far to get to um, Pachuca. A few people around here in um, in Ye. Most people would be going away for the weekends and stock up here and then head up towards the bush and go camping. There we go. Get a Tats Lotto ticket win by that. <laughs> that would be nice. 
And you probably noticed that um, I'm riding with one glove on and one glove off. And there's a method to my madness. Um, I've got these new gloves and they're great, I love them. But the only thing is, is I can't operate my GoPro camera with it. So I'm going to have to maybe make a slight adjustment with these gloves. Maybe cut off two of the fingers so I can uh, work my camera. <laughs> I've got the other glove with me. But it's in there. Okay, just going over the Golden River. Slowed right down, I want to have a look. Quite nice, quite a big river. Pretty good fishing. But we're not far from uh, Seymour now. Okay. Just pulled over at the same place I pulled over on our big trip. Um, when we had camera issues, exactly the same place. Is that an omen? I don't know. But anyway, let's keep going. So yeah, we're just driving through Seymour now. And uh, keep going towards the Gamby, I think it's called, and Murchison. We'll stop in Murchison. Now we're just leaving Seymour now. Um, yeah, hopefully I haven't lost all my footage that um, I recorded so far. I'll soon find out when I get home. Um, yeah, just just got issues again. It's very very frustrating what the hell one of the bridges is closed no oh, maybe it's just for trucks but anyway yeah it's very frustrating you know i try and do my best with uh, creating videos and whatnot and then uh, you know, you go out there, record it all, and then you only need to find out when you get back home and you go into editing that you've either lost footage or it's got shit audio or who knows. Yeah, it's very annoying. But anyway, that's enough of me whinging. Let's just keep going and hopefully it all turns out. Okay, we're now on the highway. Murchison 46 k's. Um, I don't know where the turn off is. Last time I missed it, I ended up in Shepparton. <laughs> so yeah, I better keep my eyes open this time and uh, hopefully don't miss it. Otherwise we'll be doing the repeat like for our last trip. End up in Shep. Yeah, riding on the uh, highways can be a little bit boring. Uh, let's make it a bit more entertaining, eh? Look at the missus to go past us. Yeah, we can check out her riding skills. And off she goes. <laughs> uh, she's loving it. I'll see if I can get a bit closer before some cars come. She's doing really, really well. And she's loving the bike as well. She really likes the, uh, since we put a lowering link in it, she's really enjoying it because she can get her feet through the ground. Which is understandable as a new rider. You want to feel comfortable on the bike. I'm going to have to turn here. Murchison. That one goes to Shepparton. All those signs for Echuca. We'll soon find out. Should get a GPS, Roger. 
Murchison. It's nice and green in here. Must be a river around somewhere. Surely. There's some water there. I reckon we're going to head towards Tatura because Bendigo just seems to be a little bit out of the way for me, I think. Oh, it's a Golden River. Oh, I didn't even realise that. Well, there you go. Yeah, I reckon this might be the way. Nice little town. The painted cows. Old gas station. Obviously not working anymore. And another adventure rider. Well, we've been going along this road for quite a while now and uh, it doesn't look like there's much out here. And, uh, luckily we both got petrol, which is good. Imagine if uh, Tim came along here without filling up at the last place. She probably would have started panicking. Okay. So if we turn left, we end up in Bendigo. Turn right, we go to Shepherd, And if we go straight, we get to Wachuca. They're the type of signs I like to see. up front we got farmer Joe and his sheep <clears throat> which way are you going buddy looks like we're going in the same direction How crazy is that? Normally I can pass up through that way. Okay, uh, we're just on the outskirts of Echuca. We need to find somewhere where we can pick up some water and some um, couple of cold drinks and then we'll head to uh, the campsite. We're going to get some drinks and some water. Mm -hmm. I don't know how we're going to carry it. I can carry some in here. I can put some on there. Can carry yeah. Maybe just two liters. I think we get... Do you want to go and get it all? Yeah. And I wait here. You? <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, we gotta let's hit the road. I got my directions to get there on Google. Let's see how correct they are. Okay, I might actually stop recording this bit because I'm going to have to concentrate on the GPS and that's a little bit awkward to look down so much with the sun glaring off that plastic. I should have brought my bloody mount for the um, phone, which I forgot. Okay, we've been on this road for about probably about five or ten minutes. Uh, so the main road goes to Kerrang and um, I have to make a right hand turn in approximately 3.5 k's I think it is 
okay and then it all turns to shit and it goes to dirt <laughs> I've already told the missus take it nice and easy nice and slow she's still got road tyres on her bike but it's only a short distance in to get to the Murray bloody galahs everywhere okay we've just turned off the main road we're on some little back road um, not too sure how far we have to go down here but um, yeah I'm sure it's going to turn to dirt sooner or later and it looks like it's coming up now so this is where we're going to take it nice and easy A little bit of corrugations. Yeah, the business has had, hasn't had much experience on the dirt, and she's actually had a pretty bad accident on the dirt, so she's very cautious with the dirt. I just told her, just take it easy, take, you know, go slow. You know, there's no rush. Eventually she'll gain some more experience on dirt and her confidence will be boosted. Okay, this is looking interesting. So we're at Will's Bend. And it looks like we're going to have to make a little Oh look, it's well posted, that's good. Uh, wheels. You know, the track's not too bad actually. Yeah, this is really nice down here. You know, we've got some kangaroos over there. about one two three three kangaroos they'll be coming out now that the sun's setting uh, not far away from the Murray it's got to be here somewhere I'm starting to see a few more campers around. Day visiting area, camping area. Hey! I didn't even see ya! It's a nice place. You're right. <laughs> yeah, it's a long ride though, especially after work. The rodeo is on in a trooper this weekend. That's why it's choppers. Is it? Yeah. Oh, this is lovely. Not bad for a birdie. Yeah, the drop down is over there. Actually, not that bad. Yeah. Um, I'd probably put me 10 in a stupid spot, but I don't think that would be Yeah, I will. Nothing else really. I might just put it up here somewhere. It's supposed to be dry anyway, isn't it? No rain. Okay. Here comes the worst part now. Setting up. Okay. We're at our campsite. What's the campsite called? Uh, Wheels Beach. That's it. And yeah, it's pretty nice. And the missus is uh, sitting up the um, Taj Mahal. Not much of a Taj Mahal, it's actually probably a mini Taj Mahal. But it's big enough for two. And uh, yeah, Dan's set up. 
What's that, a two manor? That's pretty decent. It's pretty wide at the top. A nice tarp there. Get away from the sun during the day. But this is an, an absolute magic spot. And there's not too many people here, which is amazing. Nice, isn't it? There's the beach. Look. How can be a beach? That. That's amazing. Ooh, that's a good workout. Look at that. What's in there? What's in there? I don't know. I'm just checking to see what's in there. Now have a look at this tree. It actually joins up. They're joined. There's two trees joined to one. Yeah, look. Look what is in there, man? Yeah, they join. Glue. Super glue. Super glue. <laughs> and here comes Dan. <laughs> hey? How was it oh, I duck underneath the trees, couldn't see it. Spilling. Apparently there's a spot along here somewhere where you can camp right on the edge. Yeah. Watch the sun rising like right down the middle of the Murray. Mm. There's an interesting tree there, though. Mm. On the, the beach? Tree. Yeah. The big gnarly mm. one. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Where there's one falling on the other. And then they've joined, joined so up. Big and so good. Take me out. Take me hammock there tomorrow. Mm. It's a big day. No. For me it oh, was. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, you're mm -hmm. working. Mm -hmm. I've been on the posty bike since what? Eight thirty. I started delivering. Started at seven. Wasn't delivering though. Sick. Yeah. Yeah. Oh well. It's perfect time to leave. Yeah, time to relax. Anyway, we'll see you all tomorrow. Hey. Here we are trying to have a nice relaxing moment. And the cockies are going off. And they won't shut up. Yeah, they're going crazy, aren't they? That's what it's like camping in Australia. Listening to cockies, galahs and corellas. And the funny thing is, is that you'll be asleep, you wake up in the morning, and what are you going to hear? Exactly the same. <laughs>